If your website is stuck in maintenance mode, then you need to keep watching this video. Not only am I going to show you how to fix this problem, but I'm also going to explain what has caused it and how you can ensure it doesn't happen again. So first of all, I have my website open on screen and you can see that I am stuck in maintenance mode. If I try and refresh this, it makes no difference. If I try and go directly to my website in a different browser, it makes no difference. Any user trying to access my website at this moment in time is going to see this message that says, briefly unavailable for scheduled maintenance. Check back in a minute. But after a few minutes, this message will be displayed and it will continue to be displayed. So how do we get rid of this? Well, what you need to do is you need to go into your hosting service. So I've got mine open here. This is the area where my website is hosted and I'm going to launch cPanel. So I'll click launch cPanel from here and this will take you into the main cPanel for your particular hosting account. You're now going to launch File Manager. So in my case, it's under Files here. I can click on File Manager. When File Manager opens, there are lots of files and folders in here for your site or any subsites that are running through this hosting service. What I would say at this stage is be very, very careful here. You don't want to delete certain files and folders. Just make sure that you are only deleting what I'm going to show you in this particular video. So first of all, you want to open up your site. Now I have a subsite called Andy's Golf Blog. I'm going to open this folder here, but if you are just running one website in your hosting plan, then you'll be in this area already. So you don't have to worry about this step. Now what you're looking for is a file called dot maintenance. You can either search for it here or sometimes what I do is just sort by last modified because it's only just happened and I can see the file up here today at 1.58 p.m. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the file and then I'm going to right click and choose to delete it. So I'll click on delete. I'll then skip the trash and I'll permanently delete this file. As I said, just be careful not to delete certain other files in here, but this one is okay to remove. I'm going to click confirm and then you'll see if I go back to my web page and click on the refresh icon at the top, you'll see that it takes me back into my WordPress site. And if somebody was to visit my main website just now, they would be able to access it. Now, if you find this video tutorial useful, make sure you hit that like button and comment below to let me know if you have followed these steps and if it has worked for you. Now, earlier in this particular video, I explained that I was going to tell you what caused that error message and how to avoid it in the future. It's all related to updating plugins. When you update a plugin, your site is briefly put into maintenance mode to allow the update to be performed. You are supposed to update only one plugin at a time in WordPress, and that helps you not only ensure that the plugin is correctly installed, but it helps you to work out if there's any conflicts with that plugin on your website. Because if you update multiple plugins and one of them is causing a conflict, you won't know which one. So do one update at a time, and that way you can check that everything on your site works as it should. When you're updating your plugins though, ensure that they are fully updated before you navigate away. So for example, if I want to update the site kit by Google plugin, I'm going to select it, I'm going to click update plugins, and I'm going to let it update for me just now. So it briefly, as you see here, puts your site into maintenance mode. It then updates the plugin, it then disables maintenance mode, and all of your updates have been completed. So that plugin has now been fully updated. If though, whilst it's going through this process, if you navigate away between this stage here and this stage here, your site will get stuck in maintenance mode. So if you're in that position, you can follow the steps earlier in this video and hopefully to avoid this happening to you again, make sure you update one plugin at a time, but give it enough time to fully update, then to disable maintenance mode. And when you see this message displayed on screen that all updates have been completed, you should be able to go back and access your website and continue to work on it. Hopefully you found this video tutorial useful. If you did, remember to give it a like, comment below to let me know if it has worked for you or if indeed you're still experiencing any issues. And of course, if you haven't already done so, please do smash that subscribe button to support the channel.